These are the remaining coins. And we're going to find out how much money was in that water jug. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the hells are you waiting for? We are modern day treasure hunters, always, always, always on the lookout for the next treasure. And we found the trove of it. Where'd we find this one, George? Do you guys know those five gallon water jugs? Well, Jeremy found one in a storage unit just filled to the brim. Filled with coins, and we're gonna cash them all in today. But before we do, we're gonna play a little bit of Back to the Future, because we're gonna go to the past, and then we're gonna jump to the future, and we're gonna find out exactly how much coins and cash we have today. Just out of curiosity, you know anything about the previous owner? How long they had it? Oh, gosh, he had it for, yeah, he had it for a while. He lives in Florida, and he's a retiree, I think. And I think he just, he he, he's, he was paying real small amounts on his thing. So he's just gone. He just, yeah. All right. Open it up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Broken glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I pulled a bike and I had to get the camera. This chair fell back. And you see what that is? You see what that is, guys? That's a that's a water bottle filled with cash. I've officially dug it out. And as you can see, there's not just pennies. Before we cash this thing in, George, I want to know how much it weighs. Yes, we're going to weigh it. So what is your guess? Uh... Oh gosh, oh, definitely over a hundred pounds. Uh, well, well over a hundred <laughs> pounds. I can't even move this by myself. If you're gonna save coins, we wouldn't recommend putting it in a jug like this just because it's too difficult to pour out of the bottleneck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the top of the jug. If you've got a bunch of coins to cash in, we do not suggest using Coinstar or any other service that's going to take a percentage of your money from you. Find a local homegrown bank, a credit union that has a coin machine, and if you have an account, they're usually going to take care of you for free. Here in our area, we love Wayne Savings Bank. They've got multiple machines, and we love how they take care of their customers. We passed the $160 mark, which is how much I paid for the unit. This is incredible. We're going to go over $200. We figured there was well over $200. Here we go. We're almost there at $200. We are now at a profit margin. Once you add in gas, purchase price, this is incredible.
We just hit the $400 mark. We're still rolling. Yeah, the $500 mark. We are now over $500. And it is still rolling. And we have this much to go. We have a ton to go. Let us know in the comments below, how much do you think we have here? Look at all of this. We're already at $500. We're at five, 520 now. Wow. We just went over 600, George. We're gonna go over the $700 mark. Here we go. $700! Oh my goodness, and look how much we still have left. We barely put a dent in the jug. How much do you think's in here, George? I'm thinking well over two grand. 2,000? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb just because I wanna one-up you. I'm gonna say $3,000. You heard it. George is taking me on vacation if it's over three grand. We're going to pay for vacation with these things. It's about to go over a thousand dollars. We just hit a thousand. We just hit a thousand. Okay, we're definitely at a thousand. George thinks there's two thousand. I'm guessing at three thousand. What's your guess? Can I take another guess? What's your guess? It's four thousand. All right, George is now guessing four thousand dollars. She's getting a little crazy. Well, look Although, at the, the jug. If you look at the jug. Okay. She's guessing four thousand dollars. I'm staying at three. Yeah, that's called money. It's burping. I think it's full. Twelve hundred dollars. Wow.
We're about to go fifteen hundred dollars, George. Bring it on, fifteen hundred. We did it, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yes. Now many may be concerned. They may be thinking, "Man, that's a lot of change." Are there any collectible coins in there? No. We spent over a month going through all of these coins to see if there's collectible coins. We found four wheat heads and we found a couple World War II nickels that have a percentage of silver. In other words, we spent hours and hours and hours of precious time to make an additional 10 cents. Wasn't worth it at all. $2,000! We hit the $2,000 mark. I can't believe it. $2,000 in change. We are halfway through the jug. It's half full. Over $2,100. We've officially been putting coins into this machine for over an hour now. And we're almost halfway done. So close. And 2,500. We're at 2,500 now. Look at this. We're still going. But the jug is getting down to the bottom of the barrel. George said four grand. I said three grand. We're going to find out who's right. We're at a point where George can actually pick the jug up before we couldn't pick it up without the milk crate because the milk crate gave us handles. We're now at a point where we can get the jug and move some money. Final countdown. These are the remaining coins. And we're gonna find out how much money was in that water jug. That's it. Here we go. 26.75. We still got a couple. There's still a couple stragglers. Those ones count. Those count. If they can get in there. The final total. $2,677.80.
and 14 cents. Ooh. Hails oh, yes. Coins, so left. There's a quarter and what is that, a penny? Doesn't count. 